Hello, this is Dr. David Bilstrom, and we have a great question today about glutathione. Glutathione is the most potent thing your body can make to get rid of inflammation. Now, technically, it actually is the most potent free radical scavenger in the body, but production of free radicals produces oxidative stress, produces inflammation. So basically, glutathione is the most powerful thing your body can make to get rid of inflammation. But people ask, should I use a glutathione supplement? Well, one of the challenges of glutathione when you take it orally is the stomach acid dissolves it and, and it can't get into your system. Now, there's some workarounds that have been developed uh, more recently where they produce what they call liposomal forms of glutathione. So they take the glutathione molecule, surround it by a fat layer so that it can get past the stomach acid, get into the intestine, and be absorbed in the system. But despite that, we don't tend to use glutathione orally. We tend to use NAC, N-acetylcysteine. And the reason we do that is N-acetylcysteine taken orally gets past the stomach acid, gets into the system, and then converts to glutathione. Now you may say, well, what's the difference if glutathione is getting in through the mouth, getting into the system because NAC converts it? Why would you wanna use NAC instead of glutathione? Well, the reason we like it better is for glutathione to get rid of a bit of inflammation, it has to donate something. But to do it again, it has to have that thing donated back. Otherwise, the glutathione is kind of like a one and done, getting rid of inflammation, then it's not good anymore. So N-acetylcysteine not only converts to glutathione, but when glutathione converts, donates that thing to put away inflammation, NAC is right there to donate that thing back to glutathione again, so it gets a chance to get rid of inflammation over and over and over and over again. It allows this glutathione to recycle and be used over and over and over again versus just a one and done. And then you got to put more glutathione in, use it once, it's gone. So I love the NAC. It converts to glutathione, but it helps the glutathione recycle itself so it can do it over and over and over and over and over again. So if you're getting a lot of health issues, yeah, you can probably bet that you're probably low on glutathione. But if you want to know for sure, what I tend to see is some lab results that are on the basics lab we want to run on people. So the liver and the kidney are particularly sensitive to glutathione deficiencies. So if you do a simple blood test, what they may call a comprehensive uh, metabolic panel, which is giving you the sodium, potassium, chloride, that kind of stuff, but also gives you something called GFR. Um, it's filtration rate, basically, of the kidney. So you want to be more than 90, okay, in the GFR, and say, hey, my kidneys are really happy. Well, if your range is between 60 and 89, you have mild kidney damage. 30 to 59, moderate kidney damage, less than 29 or less, severe kidney damage. Eh, unfortunately, some labs only go, hey, you're above 60, you're fine. Basically, what they say, hey, you're above 60, you may have mild kidney damage. We're okay with that. Really silly. Well, some of the best labs are, they'll say, hey, if you're more than 90, you're good, which is what we want. Now, if you're not more than 90, you basically know you're probably low on glutathione because the kidneys are suffering with lack of glutathione to put out inflammation within the kidneys and the kidneys aren't so happy. So low glutathione, you go, geez, I got inflammation a lot of different places. I'm really not feeling the greatest. Well, the kidney kind of, when you see a GFR less than 90, the kidney's kind of going, hey, I'm the kidney. I'm not happy either. And you go, okay. So usually we'll think that you're going to fix this kidney issue as long as we can you know, get rid of inflammation in the body. But that's usually an indication that you want to start using NAC, one capsule twice a day, to try to help the kidneys get better. But you also know if the kidneys need glutathione, the rest of the body does too. The other thing you're probably going to see on a blood test, that same chem package I talked about, there's two different liver proteins that get tested. Um, they go by kind of different names, SGOT, SGPT, it might go by ALT, A ALT. Um, and if those are high, kind of out of the range high, you go, oh, you got liver inflammation. Well, if you got liver infl inflammation, you pretty much know that you are low on glutathione. Another reason to start the NAC. Now, if you've got like high inflammation markers, liver inflammation, kind of the rule of thumb is you'd rather not piss off your liver 
right? So you may want to use two capsules twice a day until the next time you do blood work, maybe three months, and see that those inflammation markers of liver are back down to not being high. Now, also though, remember we talk about always, there's always a sweet spot. You don't want to be too high, too low on anything. Same thing with these liver proteins. So if you're running high, liver inflammation. But if you're going too low, you're kind of out of the range low, or sometimes the labs go, well, as long as you're not high, you're fine on these liver proteins. Well, we go, no, no, no. You don't want to be too low either. So if you're kind of like less than, you know, 20, less than 15 on either one of these, you go, oh, my liver is having a hard time making these two important proteins. It's probably having a hard time making other important proteins, which makes me always think, well, probably your liver is having a hard time making this glutathione also. Well, then that's the indication for the NAC1 capsule twice a day as well. So you can tell by your last, but you also kind of know if your body's been you know, under chronic stress and duress long enough to not feeling good, eh, you're probably low in some glutathione and the NAC might be a really good option to try to get rid of this inflammation. Kidneys are happier, liver's happier, the rest of the body's happier. And because the liver now is uber happy, it's gonna make enough glutathione on its own long-term for you to stay healthy. Great question. Thank you so much.